Hello, an oscilloscope is a measuring instrument used to visualize and analyze electronic signals. It is commonly used in various fields including electronics, telecommunications, engineering and physics. Overall, oscilloscopes are essential tools for engineers, technicians and scientists involved in electronics and signal analysis, enabling them to visualize, measure and diagnose electrical waveforms accurately. Uh, nowadays, analog CRT oscilloscopes are no longer produced but only digital, like this, uh, uh, due to their huge advantages. Uh, one of the advantages of analog oscilloscope is real-time high-resolution imaging of the signal and also easier to use than digital oscilloscopes. In today's video I will present you the simplest possible way to make a retro-style analog oscilloscope with a cathode ray tube CRT. A cathode ray tube CRT is a vacuum tube containing one or more electron guns which emit electron beams that are manipulated to display images on a phosphorescent screen. A CRT tube can be obtained on the internet for a relatively low price and depending on the dimensions it ranges from $20 and up. At the beginning let me say that this is not a serious instrument but only a demonstration model to describe the way these instruments work. In previous years this device has been, has been described in several magazines and portals but I could not find any picture or a video presentation of its operation anywhere. So I decided to make it and present the results to you. As the title suggests, the device is extremely simple and consists of several components. The main part is the cathode ray tube and in my case it is a miniature CRT marked 5LO48I with diameter of only 5 cm. An electronic part of oscilloscope is extremely simple and consists only of a few resistors and capacitors. Uh, next, LM317 uh, adjustable voltage regulator and uh, with two resistors to get 6.3 volts uh, needed for the tube heater and power supply uh, this part is most common reason why we do not start making devices with the electronic tubes namely for their normal operation high voltage are needed usually more than 200 volts and such power supplies uh, with a classic transformer are bulky and expensive. Specifically for this purpose I use this small compact uh, boost converter with co which, cons which costs only $3 and with 12 volts at the input gives an output of 45 to 400 volts which can be changed continuously with a small, pot small potentiometer. The power of this small module is about 100 watts and is quite sufficient for any CRT tube. And now let's explain how this small oscilloscope works. Uh, for uh, the input signal is fit to the Y input uh, via situable capacitor uh, to one of the Y deflection plates. For the X deflection we use a neon lamp oscillator to generate time base uh, and with a focus regulator circuit we have a complete oscilloscope. Operation of the horizontal deflection oscillator is visible as a gen gentle flickering of the neon lamp. Uh, whenever the voltage across the par parallel connected capacitor reaches the strike voltage of the lamp uh, it is discharged with a brief pulse of current. It is hard to imagine a simple way to generate a soft tooth, soft tooth waveforms. Uh, now, uh, if a signal is applied to the Y input, uh, we should be able to see the waveform on the screen. So I have shown how little circuitry is required to make a real working oscilloscope. Let me mention that, that this device is double isolated from the, from the city voltage network 
one in the external power supply and the second time in the boost converter. For a sinusoidal signal source I will use this old tone generator. At first start it takes a certain amount of time for the cathode to start emitting electrons and image appears on the screen. Now we will fit the sinusoidal signal generated by this tone generator to the input of the oscilloscope. The shape of this signal appears on the screen. We can see that we get a stable image only at certain frequency values because for the shake of simplicity uh, the device does not contain a trigger circuit. Now if we increase the amplitude of the input sinusoidal signal the peaks of the sinusoid uh, will be cut off and thus a trapezoidal signal is obtained. Let's try. Otherwise, my intention is to make a simple horizontal and vertical signal amplifier in the future and adapt this small CRT screen for a simple Arduino oscilloscope clock. Hopefully, an oscilloscope clock project will follow soon in one of my next videos. The device is installed in a suitable box made of PVC board with thickness of 3 and 5 mm and covered with a self-adhesive wallpaper.